Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a quantile based time series unit to test in Gauss. This uh, Gauss function uh, is available in TSB DLIB library, which is developed by Shaban Nazdi, Nazdi Blue. And in this library, there are several tests that are already available in it. So in our previous video, I've done a few of them like uh, the unit to test and co-integration tests. Today I'm going to do is quantile R A quantile ADF developed by Koniger and Zhao. When I press it up, it will show me the the functions. So I will do a parallel in in Gauss. So in this window, I will do library ESP the library. So it will load the library. It will only work if the library is already installed and it is shown in the library tool. Otherwise, you have to install using install applications window. And in my previous video videos, it's already shown how to install it. So once the library is loaded, you have to load the data. So my, I have already uh, got the command using that I can load the data. So my command is so I have already downloaded and saved the data in the CSV format, one column only, and saved it in my document. So I've got the directory. And when you copy the directory from the file, make sure that you reverse the slash because it will be reverse slash. Now it is forward slashes. So this is loaded. Now the next command is model equal to one. So you can use model equal to two, two if you want to add trend in the test. So model equal to one. So it will select model equal to one. Then, then it asks for tau. So tau is actually the quantile value at which you want to check. So I will start with median. Then the test is stat equal to quantile a a d f. Make sure it's spelled right so that it is bold and in blue color. Y two model and tau so when you enter all of these it will show you that it is it has estimated at quantile 5 the the quantile and then it has given the the adf value at that quantile minus 1.59 and the critical values are uh, bigger in number so it means that the null is accepted and data has unit root and then you can do it again for different quantile value, you can press up button and change it down to 0 0.1 and then it will check it at 10th quantile and it is bigger so it has a unit root at that point. So what you can do with here is that you can check for all the deciles and note down the values and then you can plot the test values and again uh, since the critical value is fixed so you can just say that uh, uh, you can add a y limit and draw a graph and show at which quantile it is stationary and which quantile it is not. So this way you can do the uh, quantile based EDF unit to test in Gauss. Thank you very much for watching.